Hello, how's things? Good. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about uh, four note per string uh, scale ideas. Um, this is something particularly associated with uh, the guitarist Alan Holdsworth. Uh, it's a good articulation idea. Um, now you're probably, like me, you're probably used to playing three note per string scales. Um, so four notes per string might seem a bit strange um, and the way I'm the way I'm going to be doing it is that I'm going to be using slides between the notes uh, I mean for me I don't know how big your hands I mean I think I've got big hands but I can't span completely that I can't well I mean I can't do it, 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 it it's just too it's just too much uh, and if I did I'd probably hurt myself um, also, I mean, just as a bit of advice, it might be worth trying to think about uh, the position of your thumb as well, whether that gives you any any particular advantage. Um, the thing I used when I used to teach uh, years ago, I used to do this thing like um, you imagine like a like a glove puppet, <laughs> like Kermit or whatever, um, and then you turn that on its side, and then that automatically. That gives you um, greater control. Um, it allows your thumb to actually balance out what what your what your fingers are doing. So, so it actually um, it actually allows a bit more dexterity. There. Anyway, um, so back to these um, four notes per strings. Now, what I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to take the the modes that you know, and um, I'm going to be starting light to dark like I did in the last video about scales. Uh, so we start on Lydian mode and finish on Locrian mode. Uh, and a good way of remembering that is the rhyme Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Uh, now that gives you the, if you take the first letter of, each, of that, that rhyme, each of those, each of those words, uh, that gives you the, the starting notes. Uh, in, in C major for, for each of the each of the modes. Um, so the first one is F, uh, and that's Lydian, and that goes something like this. I'll try not to make a mistake. Oop. I'll try not to make a mistake. Backwards. I always tell you got it right because you should um, end on the note you started on. Uh, next one would be C, that would be Ionian. And backwards. Uh, next one would be G, which is Mixolydian. As you can see, I'm, I'm myself. I'm not completely comfortable with it yet, but um, but this is just something that I've been wanting to, to look at for a while. Uh, got, right, so the next one would be D, which is Dorian mode. Next one would be A, which is Aeolian mode. Uh, 
Let's do that one again. Yeah, um, see, it, what's, what this exercise actually shows um, is that there's a danger of overshooting. So you're going to start to hear the note you want, um, but you've got to try and get your finger there in, in time. So, it's, so if you're doing this uh, exercise on a regular basis, it, it should tighten up that, that intonation thing and, and stop you overshooting the notes. Okay, so, so that was A. Uh, next one would be E. Now we can play that in two ways. We can either do it here. Or we can do it here. And then next would be B, so we're back here again. Okay, so um, so that's the those are the basics. Now, just before we, we close, we want to go into um, you might have heard about the the harmonic minor and the melodic minor, um, and talking about all the modes of the melodic minor, and uh, and then this is this is when it starts it starts getting all all very confusing, uh, or it can get very confusing if you don't actually understand how the um, how that scale actually works uh, in the C major um, the harmonic minor that was actually being it's actually in, in A minor but all you're doing is you're just changing the you're changing the seventh note so you're going instead of going The thing is, when you do that on one string, you're playing this. Um, you're playing G sharp instead of G. So you got this stretch. Is that is that more visible? I mean, um, as a technique, you know, you find it a lot in flamenco, which is something that Richard Blackmore has ad <laughs> adopted. And... Um, which is which is great, you know, if, if you want to do that sort of Richard Blackmore sort of you know Gates of Babylon type type playing. Um, but for singers, that interval, that. It, it, it's 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 too much, so um, so that's why they invented the melodic minor, where you play instead of you play this note sharp, so you play an F sharp. So, um, so as long as I know that I'm playing, or rather, I'm just altering the notes F and G in, in the scale. I'm, so I'm playing F sharp and G sharp. Um, then I can carry on doing my 
four note per string exercise if I want, except that instead of going, instead of, instead of doing that, I'm going, um, yeah, uh, and then, uh, Yeah, so, um, and then there's one more thing which, which, which um, I'm going to show you. Um, because if, if we're, um, if, if, we're do, if we're doing, playing a, a, a melodic minor, like, now, um, in, in traditional classical music, you would just then play a descending harmonic minor. Because it's easier to sing um, that harmonic minor interval descend in a descending scale than it is in an ascending scale. However, a lot of modernist uh, players, um, especially people like Debussy, if you can count Debussy as being a modernist, um, but they were actually looking at it's like using the modes of the melodic minor as um, it's actually well, actually those are quite in interesting intervals. And one thing to come out of that is a thing known as the altered scale, where so you move this note here, So that's something that uh, that might be worth a look as well. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it to a close now. Um, there's a lot to look at there. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, I'll see you soon. All right, thanks very much.